Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Yesterday we went over four factors that uh, reflect our current situation and are quite dangerous for our future. Number one, 6.6 .6 million fewer jobs since Obama took office. 23 million Americans cannot get a full-time job. Real income of working Americans is at the same level as 1997. Manufacturing jobs are transitioning into service jobs. Lowering wages are going to reduce demand. The solution to this problem is uh, a program of government work on infrastructure. Public service jobs, repairing America, bringing our roads and, and uh, infrastructure, which once were the lights of the world, uh, into the 21st century. We have to spend hundreds of billions of dollars on this. That money will go right back into people's pockets, and it will go right back into the economy. I just want to point out one little tiny infrastructure idea. If you go to Northern Europe, and, you know, obviously we're working out of Boston, and, you know, so we're in New England, and we have a lot of friends and clients well north of here. Uh, if you go into Scandinavia, all the power lines are underground. Don't you think it would be a good idea in all the cold parts of the United States for the power lines to be underground? Wouldn't that have a tremendous quality of life effect on people in those areas? Now, being a bit of a Weisenheimer. But our view is that that's exactly the kind of thing that does so much good for our economy. Uh, this is the kind of thing the Republicans oppose. The Republicans oppose this because they don't care about what happens to the American people. I repeat, they don't care what happens to the average American, because if they cared, they'd at least have their own alternative programs to address some of these issues. So their feeling is the economy stumbles along, gets much worse, and the Republican candidate is going to win the election. This is not NOT going to happen. So I just want to close on a, on a couple of points about gold. We encourage people to be very judicious about their gold buying in through here. Some of our trading is not changing. Uh, you know, we've been doing this and doing that, using options uh, to uh, make profits for our money, managed money clients. Uh, Ian McCavity, the noted uh, technician, was quoted in Barron's over the weekend to point out that uh, even when gold was at 1900, it was selling at 2.2 times its 1980 price. Now, by comparison, the U.S. Uh, gross domestic, domestic product and debt, U.S. government debt, is 5.5 times what it was in 1990. And credit debt taken all together, including consumers, is 11 times what it was in 1990. So we think gold has ample range to move uh, once the true direction of the European problem becomes clear, which is things are going to get worse, and people are more accepting of that. Um, <clears throat> we expect gold to resume its upward march. But for uh, people at home, as it were, as Kramer likes to say, uh, you know, be very judicious about your trading gold in the next few days. A lot of much bigger exter external factors are at play. But aim for the ice flows, not the open water, and you'll make some great money. Thanks for listening. Have a nice day.